Good morning. I am in the car. It is 4.55 a.m. and I'm headed to boot camp. I already have been up for about an hour. I did make my protein coffee this morning per usual and like I always say I drink about half of that before I go to boot camp. I've been getting a lot of questions on how I make my protein coffee. I've actually shared that time and time again here on my channel. I have a whole video about protein coffee but basically what I do is four shots of espresso. I do have a home espresso machine and then I pour in a pre-made protein shake. Whatever pre-made protein shake you like. You guys know I go back and forth between Premier, Fairlife, Alani, just kind of whatever I have on hand. I always drink iced coffee so I'm able to put the whole protein shake in my coffee and it gets me 20 to 30 grams of protein. So that's how I make my protein coffee. I'm excited to share with you guys all my food for the day. I have a really good dinner recipe planned and then we're going to sit down and we're going to have a little chit chat. I have a busy day today. I have a coaching call. I have just quite a few things that I need to get caught up on but I'm excited to spend the day with you guys and I hope that you're excited as well so don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe I do a what I eat in a day every Wednesday and don't forget to check out the description box where I'll put nutrition coaching so you guys can take advantage of personalized macros and calories you know that's how I've lost and maintained 140 pound weight loss and I have one-on-one -on -one coaching links and discounts to all my favorite things and don't forget to come join our Facebook group. It is the best place to be and that's kind of how you keep up with me. That and Instagram really a day to day. So I am almost to the skate park or the park where we actually have our boot camp in the morning. Side note, it's only 73 this morning, which is a big change of pace. We're usually in the 80s. We have been having a little bit of rain a lot of the days. It's monsoon season here. So that's really helped lower the temperature, but it also brings out the mosquitoes. So that's never a good time. So anyways, I'm going to go do boot camp and I'll see you guys back at home for breakfast. Well, good morning. It is time for breakfast. I am incredibly hungry. It's actually eight o'clock already. I came home. I ended up getting ready for the day and then I placed an order on Timu because I want to do a fall Timu haul in August. I'm so excited. And my stomach was growling and I'm like, girl, you need to get in the kitchen and have some breakfast. So it is time for breakfast. I am going to do a protein packed breakfast with a carb because I do want a carb after my workout to refuel my body after I burned all those calories. So I'm going to use my good culture, whole milk cottage cheese. They did not have the low fat cottage cheese. So I just get the whole milk. It doesn't matter to me. They both taste delicious. And then I'm going going to top it with some fresh raspberries and then I'm going to toast up a bagel. So these are the Western bagel. These are the alternative bagels, which means they're lower calories. They have some fiber. They have some protein. This is the cinnamon spice, 120 calories. There is nine grams of fiber and eight grams of protein. So 10 out of 10 out of 10 for fiber and protein. And I really like the Western bagels. I kind of forgot about them. And then I have a couple packs in my freezer and you can see I've been eating them. They're really good. And you get that whole bagel vibe for way less calories points and you get the fiber and the protein. I do have a discount, I believe, for Western Bagel, so I'll link it down below for you. But I'm gonna pop this in the toaster, put some real Kerrygold butter on it, and that'll be breakfast. So here's breakfast. I have my toasted bagel with a teaspoon of Kerrygold butter. And then I ended up doing 150 grams of cottage cheese, 110 grams is a serving. I wanted the extra protein. And then I did 70 grams of fresh raspberries. So we have a protein packed, healthy carb breakfast. Now that breakfast is over, do you guys want a special bone? <gasps> do you want special bone? They love their special bones. Right now we have the smart bones wrapped in real chicken. I also get just the regular smart bones as well. Say we buy them off of Amazon because they're cheap for you. And for you. So my next project this morning is a big project. I need to clean my makeup brushes. So I'm really bad. I wait until I'm almost out of brushes, like down to the bare bones, then I clean them. So we have eye brushes face brushes, and this is actually the product that I use to clean my brushes. I've shared this quite a few times here on my channel. This is from Cinema Secrets. You can buy this at Sephora. She, it's kind of expensive, but it is the best brush cleaner, hands down. After you wash your brushes, they're dry immediately. So you can actually start using your clean brushes right away. 
It's the only makeup cleaner I've ever found that really gets my brushes clean. And again, they're dried instantly. So we're gonna clean brushes. I have a few things to chat with you about. So we're continuing on with a productive day. So I just put my Cinema Secrets in a little bowl here. Literally, you dip your brush in the liquid and then I wipe it on a towel. I use the same towel every time I clean my brushes because it gets pretty nasty. And then I just put them right back in the little containers. I actually store them in these containers. I'll refill the brushes on my vanity because like I said, I wait till I'm almost completely out before I wash brushes. But there are lots of things that I wanna talk with you guys about. So you're not gonna be able to necessarily see me cleaning my brushes, but just know that that's what I'm doing. If I get through everything I wanna chat with you guys about, I will fast forward and you can kinda of see me actually going through and cleaning my brushes. But there's a few things that I wanna chat with you guys about. First, as a reminder, I am doing a meetup in Tucson in October. I talked about this in last week's What I Eat In A Day as well, but I just wanted to remind you guys again because a lot of the events that we're doing are selling out. I actually, the show we're going to at the theater is completely sold out. Luckily, I pre-purchased some tickets, so if you're considering coming to the meetup in Tucson in October, then definitely make sure that you let me know right away and pay for your show ticket, because like I said, once the ones I bought are gone, the show is completely sold out, and you just wouldn't be able to attend with the rest of us. Also, side note on the meetup in Tucson, there's quite a few people flying in, and I've heard that flights are pretty affordable right now, and I actually put all of the information for the meetup as far as hotel and stuff in the post under my community tab here on YouTube, so it's still there if you want all of the details. I also posted all about it in my Facebook group. Speaking of traveling, I'm so excited. I have two trips planned in September. I have a trip planned in October before the meetup. I have a trip planned in November. I am so excited to be able to go back to traveling now that I'm healing from my plastic surgery. We're going to do an update on that next. I'm able to actually go back to traveling, so I'm super excited. I am going to California in September September to a conference for nutrition, which I'm so excited about. I went to that conference last year as well. And then my mother-in-law and I are actually going to Spokane for a wedding and I'm going to see my mom and hopefully a few of my friends in Spokane as well in September. October is my girl's trip to Hawaii. I'm going with my friend Rachel, who I travel with a lot that I actually went to Hawaii with her last year. We are going to Kauai with our friend Kelly as well, so like a little bit of a girl's trip. And then in November, I'm going to a really big retreat conference for nutrition where my friend Amy that I had plastic surgery with will be, my friend Michelle from Australia will be there, my friend Henry. It's really where we all kind of get together. It's just a more intimate retreat style event. So fun. It's actually in San Antonio, Texas. So I have a lot of trips coming up and I'm already thinking about what I want to do next year. <laughs> what trips that I want to take next year. I know one trip for sure would be another girl's trip to Hawaii. Our plan is to do a girl's trip every year. Year. And then also I want to go to Atlanta to see my friend Michelle who's moving to Atlanta from Australia. So there's a possibility of a meetup in Atlanta. I don't want to commit yet because I'm not 100% sure, but we'll see kind of what happens next year. And all of 2024's travel is going to be hinged on Lola and how Lola's doing uh, after chemo. So that's, is she still in remission? Is she healthy? Obviously she takes priority, so any trips that I had planned would be postponed if Lola wasn't healthy. So I haven't really scheduled anything yet for 2024, but I have lots that I wanna do next year. So plastic surgery update. I've been getting a lot of requests for updates, including pictures. So I am going to give you guys updates. I'm officially just about three months post-op. I'm doing really, really well, really, really well. I still can't do what I can't do still or what's uncomfortable for me still at this point is any workout that in that involves my chest or my pecs. So my implants are under the muscle. So push-ups, burpees, chest exercises in general are still really uncomfortable. It feels like my implants are shifting, which I don't think that they're necessarily shifting. I hope not, but that's what it feels like. And it's just really uncomfortable. So I'm giving my body some more time to heal before I go back to that. 
but I am able to do mountain climbers now, which is something new that I hadn't been able to do for a while. I'm able to do those, no problem. I also was doing walkout planks and that was something I couldn't do a while ago either. So I'm definitely making progress and feeling a little feeling more and more normal pretty much every single week so i wanted to show you guys a couple of picture updates i plan on doing more as i continue to heal maybe at around the four month mark when i'm almost entirely healed at that point but i'm going to go ahead and insert a picture here of my chest before my surgery and my most recent picture so the implants have definitely dropped and fluffed as they like to call them they're still not exactly, my, my boobs still don't look exactly what I would say to be normal. Um, I say that they're kind of torpedo-like still while well, the implants continue to really just get into place, but they're definitely looking more and more normal. I'm feeling really good. Everything's healing really well incision-wise. In fact, I'm able to put scar cream on now, so I've been doing that. Really, really, really happy with the results of my extended breast lift and implants. I mean, really, really, really happy. I never thought that my chest would look the way that it does, and I can't wait for it to be completely healed when I get the true, true results. And then my back, I'm literally ecstatic about my back. I mean, beyond ecstatic about my back. You guys know that that was my biggest problem area. I had so much skin on my back. It's amazing how it looks. And I still have some swelling. So I'm popping some pictures here for you guys of my back as well. But like I said, I still have some swelling. It's not completely gone. I don't anticipate based on what my doctor said, all of the swelling to be completely gone until about the six month mark. So again, we're not gonna see true, true results until then, but you guys have been asking for an update. So I wanted to give you an update, just include some recent pictures. I do check in with my plastic surgeon team every two weeks. So I send pictures. So I'm always taking pictures and updates. So I'll continue to share them with you. But for those of you that have been asking if I'm glad that I did the procedure, a hundred million percent a hundred million percent and then lastly update more really a question for you guys is I know it's summer and traditionally YouTube views are really down in the summer mine are also very down right now which I anticipate has a lot to do with it being summer people's schedules get thrown off kids are home so it's a lot harder to sit down relax watch YouTube so I, ant I anticipated my views being a little bit lower but I wanted to know is there any particular content that you guys want to see is there anything that you've been what that you've been wanting me to film so let me know down in the comments what you guys want to see as far as content goes i do have my regular content monday's meal prep day wednesday's what i eat in a day friday's my weigh-in saturday's my grocery haul and then sunday Sunday is when I do a fun video. So that's where I could incorporate some of the content that you guys want to see. So please let me know what you'd like to see. I want to also say a big thank you for even during the summer and all year long continuing to watch my videos. This is how I support my family. Uh, my husband does not work. He has a lot of medical issues. He's still waiting on social security. So at this point, he has no income and we have to pay for Cobra Medical for him, which is about $700 a month. So I always tell him he's in the hole about $700 a month. So YouTube and coaching is how I support my family, how I pay my bills, how I take care of myself and my dogs and Troy. So I really appreciate you guys continuing to watch my channel. I appreciate every time that you use my links to do shopping. It doesn't cost you guys any more than if you didn't lose my use my link. Some of my links are affiliated, some of them are not. Some of them I make money on, some of them I do not. But I really appreciate you guys w using those links whenever you do shop because it just helps me again financially and it also just shows the brand that you guys enjoy the product as much as I do so again thank you for everything thank you for all of your support if you've been thinking about coaching it's a great time to get coaching as we get ready to enter into fall and winter and really the last 90 days of 2023 which is crazy I don't know about you but I feel like it just became 2023 I feel like this year has went really really fast let me know if you guys feel the same way. But again, thank you for everything. Thank you for your continued support as well. It really, truly means 
honestly the world to me and Troy. So I think that's it for updates. Oh, little side note, Lola's still doing amazing. She is still in remission, fingers crossed. I know it's only been a week, but listen, you never know. So I'm just so incredibly grateful that she is healthy and happy. So really thankful for that. Of course, I'll keep you guys posted on that as well. So I still have all my face brushes to clean a whole entire bucket of brushes. So I'm going to flip you guys down so you can kind of see how I clean my brushes. We'll speed through this. And again, from the bottom of my heart, thank you for all of your continued support. I'm getting the garbage can. So my lovely husband does not have to do it when he gets home. And I'm feeling like I'm in need of a coffee. We're gonna make a quick Duncan run. So it's pretty bad when I walk outside to get the garbage and I'm like, oh, it's not very hot today and it's 98. It's because it's been well over 100 degrees for I don't know how long and today it's under 100. So it feels, feels like a fall day today. No, seriously, it's just not as hot today. I ordered my coffee ahead on the Duncan app. I had a free coffee, so I did a iced coffee with two cream and then I did the regular mocha syrup but I only did two pumps instead of four which I think is what comes in the medium coffee so that's what I ordered I think that's the only stop we're gonna make I'm a little tired today it was a crazy weekend I hiked a huge mountain in Tucson on Saturday with my boot camp group and I even made a post in my Facebook group and on my Instagram on Sunday about how I did not want to go to the gym because I was just tired from Saturday, but I went to the gym anyways. Then I was up at 4 a.m. today to do boot camp. So I definitely, definitely need a coffee to make it through the rest of my day. Oh my gosh, there's one more update I totally forgot to share with you guys. And it reminded me when I got in the car Hang on, I'm pulling up to get my coffee or to let them know that I'm here for my coffee. Hold please. I'm waiting for her to come back. Remember in last week's What I Eat In A Day, I shared with you guys that I went to BMW and they told me that I needed new brake pads and they were unable to reset the sensor because I needed new brake pads and they wanted a thousand dollars for front brakes and a thousand dollars for rear brakes. Oh, not brakes, brake pads. Well, Troy took my car to Firestone by our house. Actually, I had a nail in my tire, so he took it there to get the nail removed and they did a complete brake inspection. Mind you, BMW never took my wheels off. Never. So they didn't actually look at the brakes. They were basing apparently everything. Hold please again. I have a pickup order for Jen. So anyways, they never took my wheels off at all. And Firestone, like I said, did a complete brake inspection. I don't need brakes. I don't need pads. I don't need anything. He said everything looks perfect. So now I get to call BMW and see what I can do to reset this sensor. Because what happens is if I drive for too long, my car automatically wants to call BMW support. Like it will start dialing and I'm like, no, no, no. So I need to call BMW again, which I'm not looking forward to because honestly, it wasn't the best experience. The last time I went in there, like the girl was pretty short and rude with me and they claim that I need breaks when I don't need breaks. So Firestone was so nice and gave me all the paperwork showing that I don't actually need breaks. So the break saga continues. I'll keep you guys updated. It's a good day. My coffee from Duncan looks right. Just needs a little quick stir. That's actually really, really good. You guys know sometimes Duncan fails me. Not today. I'm hungry. It's 11. I didn't have a morning snack because I had a little bit later breakfast. I'm definitely hungry. So for lunch today, I'm going to have one of the turkey burgers that I made in Monday's meal prep. If you missed Monday's meal prep video, I'll link it down below for you. 10 out of 10. These are super, super good. And then I top it with some of this Asian slaw. You don't even need a condiment. It is that good. You can put this on a bun. I think I'm going to skip the bun because I want to have a peach. We got these peaches at Costco and they're so, so, so good. And then I was thinking I might have some wheat thins. Let's see if I'm still hungry, but I'm going to have a peach turkey burger with some slaw. So let me put together my lunch and I'll be back to show you exactly what I'm having. So my lunch is my burger with some slaw. I've got a peach and half 
of a serving of wheat thins. That's all I had left in the box. I am so excited to dig into this. All right, I'm home and I'm taking full advantage of having the house to myself while Troy's gone. Me, Palmer, and Lola are gonna watch Match Me Abroad and just chill for a little bit before I make my afternoon snack. Relax on the couch. I mean, what could be better than that? Palmer, Palmer. Oh, yeah, get your ball. You wanna watch the show? Oh, come here. Come here. Come play with me. <laughs> Palmer. You wanna watch the show, Lola? Yeah, you wanna watch the show? B Dog, Palmer, you wanna watch the show? Yeah, you wanna watch the show? All right, afternoon snack time. I'm having my yogurt bowl. I have been craving my yogurt bowl. I actually almost had it for breakfast. Then I was like, no, really bulk up on protein after your workout. So now it is time for my yogurt bowl. So if you've missed the last few videos where I've shared this, it's my favorite thing in the whole wide world. So you're going to need a yogurt. I use the Chobani Zero Sugar. Actually, you can use any yogurt. I'm actually almost out of these, so I don't know if I'll buy this or something else, but really any Greek yogurt will do. And then I like to top mine with fruit. Again, any fruit. I'm gonna do a blueberry yogurt, so we're gonna do blueberries. I always add granola any granola. Measure your granola out in grams. I usually do between 10 and 20 grams. This is a farmer's nut blend from Sam's Club. And then I top it with some whipped cream, any whipped cream. Right now I have the birthday cake from Sam's Club. And then really what I love the most about my yogurt bowl is my Chia Smash. So what Chia Smash is, is this one's blueberries, chia seeds, dates, and lemon. So there's four ingredients, really, really clean, healthy for you. It's only 25 calories per serving, which is a tablespoon. And that's about what I put on top of my whipped cream on my yogurt bowl. And it just adds this jammy, yummy texture with the chia seeds and all the benefits of getting in chia seeds. There's actually no sugar added in the chia smash as well. So this is what it looks like. Literally looks like jam. I buy mine off of Amazon. I find that it's cheaper on Amazon, especially if you buy the six pack of all the flavors than on the chia smash website, which is really weird. I've actually reached out to them to see if they'd give me a discount code for you guys. And I never heard back. So I buy it off Amazon. I'll link the chia smash with the Amazon link that I go through, which I found to be the most affordable. So let me put together my yogurt bowl and I'll show you snack. So here is my yogurt bowl with the yogurt, blueberries, granola, some whipped cream, and then the blueberry chia smash. For dinner tonight, I'm making pesto chicken, tortellini, and veggies. It has a long name, but it's only six ingredients. So let me show you what you'll need. You'll need chicken thighs. You could also substitute chicken breast if you would like. Cheese tortellini, either fresh or frozen. Cherry or grape tomatoes, sun-dried tomatoes. Pesto of your choice. I actually picked this one. It's only 150 calories per serving, where usually pesto is a couple hundred. And then some fresh asparagus. So easy prep for this recipe. I cut the ends off my asparagus, then chopped the good part, as I like to call it, in half. Diced up my sun-dried tomatoes cut my cherry tomatoes in half, and then slice my chicken thighs into strips. I did remove as much fat as I could. So in my caraway skillet, you guys ask a lot about my pots and pans. They're from caraway. Let me tell you, worth every penny. I'll link caraway down below for you. To the skillet, I am going to add my sliced up chicken thighs and my diced up sun-dried tomatoes, and we're going to allow these to cook together for about five to 10 minutes. Once the chicken is cooked through, we're actually going to remove it from the skillet, put it on a plate, and then we're going to add our asparagus to the hot skillet. I also have a pan over here of water coming to a boil to cook the tortellini. Go ahead and season your asparagus with some salt and pepper and allow it to cook down. Once your asparagus is cooked, we're going to add the chicken and sun-dried tomatoes back into the skillet and just allow those to cook together for a couple more minutes. Then we're going to add in a quarter cup of pesto, one cup of the tortellini and our tomatoes. Stir that all together and allow it just to warm through. Let that pesto really soak in to the chicken, asparagus, and tortellini. So here is my dinner. Doesn't only look good, but smells really, really good. 
I love pesto, I love basil. So the recipe makes only four servings. So you get a good amount of the tortellini chicken pasta. We're getting in some veggies and lots of flavor with that pesto. So let me go ahead and put points, calories, macros here on the screen for you. Dessert time, my favorite time of the day is dessert. Heads up, I eat dessert every day. It is something that is sustainable for me. I've done it throughout my entire weight loss journey. If you told me I couldn't have dessert, that wouldn't be sustainable for me. So I just make sure that I'm able to incorporate dessert daily. So tonight, we're having Ninja Creamy ice cream. This will be my second protein supplement of the day. I have two protein supplements every day. That's a protein shake, bar, powder, water, whatever to help me get in my protein. I have a pretty big protein goal and I need those two supplements daily to reach it. So today's second supplements coming in the form of ice cream. I did an entire Ninja Creamy video, actually two of them. I'll link both of them down below for you. This. The second video, I did all protein powder based ice cream and that's what this is. So what this is, is one cup of Fairlife chocolate milk. Amazing, you can actually make ice cream just out of this. Literally pour this in, freeze it, blend it in the Ninja. I like to add extra protein of Clean Simple Eats. You guys know this is my favorite protein powder and today's flavor is German chocolate cake. One of my favorites, it has almond, it has coconut. It's so rich, decadent chocolate and these two together, make the perfect ice cream. I've gotten a few questions on if I add pudding, you don't need it. All you need is the Fairlife milk and the powder, and then I just froth it up with my frother. I'm actually, and then you freeze it for 24 hours. So I actually made this base yesterday. So I pop this in the microwave for 30 seconds, put it in my Ninja Creamy. I don't know what we're gonna do for mix-ins. I may mix in some pecans. I think I have pecans. I'm not quite sure what mix-in I'll do, but I always like to do a mix-in, top it with some whipped cream, and it is like, Dairy Queen ice cream with protein. I mean, literally equally as good and right around 200 calories. Here's dessert. I decided to go ahead and do just a tiny bit of whipped cream. And these are the salted caramel yum crumbs. I'm obsessed, obsessed with the yum crumbs. I shared these in quite a few videos. I'll link them down below for with a discount for you. So good. Actually here, let me show you. I have a lot of them because like I said, I'm obsessed with them, but this is what they look like. They're little like bits, like dessert bits that you can use to top yogurt. This is the berry blue. And tonight I use the salted caramel. I have a lot because you can buy a sampler pack with all 20 flavors for like $20. Highly recommend. This is only two points worth of the yum crumbs. So I'll go ahead and put points, calories, macros here on the screen. joining me for today's What I Eat in a Day on WW. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me today, seeing all the good food that I ate. The dinner was absolutely fantastic. Don't forget, I'll link my recipe website at the top of the description box for you. All the other links for the things I shared with you today, nutrition coaching. Don't forget to sign up for personalized macros and calories, game changer when it comes to weight loss. And then of course I have coaching for accountability or to ask your questions. Links and discounts to my other favorite things and come join our Facebook group. We would love to have you. Happy Wednesday, friends. I hope you have an amazing day and I'll see you in Friday's weigh-in.